Hello and welcome to Infinity. In taking photographs, there's a common problem whereby the sky is a bit too light and makes the ground a little bit dark when you're exposing it. So a approach that is used is a neutral density filter, which is sort of a graduated piece of glass from dark to light you stick in front of the lens. And they're usually jolly expensive. You get the good ones. And there's a free alternative, which I'm going to produce here, which is to do this in Affinity Photo. And this is done through swatches. And the way to do it is go to the link down below. And if you click on that, then there'll be another click to then download the swatch set, the .af palette. Then what we do is we go to the swatches up here. And if you haven't got this here, go turn it on via View and Studio. And then we're going to go to the little hamburger up here and import palette and as application palette. So it's available to all images as opposed to the document palette, which is just this one. Then it looks something like this. I can just double click it and that will load it up. And there it is. It appears here. When you scroll along these, you can see what they say what it is. But actually, I prefer this sort of palette is to click up here, then go down to appearance and click shows list. Now you've got the actual names of things itself. You can also drag it off for the moment and put it down here and maybe just move this image across so we can see both things at once. And then you can pick the ones that you need. So let's go to this picture here. And we would like, say, to darken the sky down. We don't apply it directly to the picture. We click on the add pixel layer. And then we pick something we're going to drag down. So I'll say black to 50% gray. And that is because when we pick the gradient tool and we drag down here, oh, look, it's not happened. That's because it goes back to the default. You need to click this again, black to 50% gray. But now you can click on any and it will pick those uh, immediately and show what the, the effect is. But you've got to blend this in to see it. So I go to normal and down to one of the overlay uh, contrast modes down here. So let's say pick um, soft light. That seems to be the, the sort of nicer one. So there immediately you've got a picture here. The 50% grey, by the way, becomes transparent in contrast mode, which is why we use that. So that immediately is an effect and you can take it like that. Also, when you drag this thing down, it brings down it. So everything above it is going to be black there blended in. So it's got the same amount of grey. And in fact, you can come all the way down. If you bring these close together, uh, and if, you, if it's a bit difficult to straighten it here, hold down the shift create and it, and it will snap around. So there's a trick. Use the shift. And this is what's called a hard grad. And you can gain, get a bit of glass to do that with. But the problem now is the buildings. That's a classic problem taking photographs. But we can mask that out quite easily. So, for example, I'll turn off the pixel layer here. Click on the background layer. Go to the selection brush. Make it reasonably big with the right square bracket. And this is going to go around all the way across here making sure, of course, I've got snap to edges on to make that happen. Click on subtract, make the brush a bit smaller. And click around the areas here to fill in the bits that that didn't quite automatically filled in. And a quick refine is often a good thing to do as well. And we can brush around the edges of this, but we'll leave it just as that for now. Now then, what I want is a mask. So if I click on the mask icon down here, mask layer, I create a mask, but it's appeared here. So I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. Good place to put masks when you're not doing anything else with them. Control D gets rid of the marching ants because we've got that now. And now if I turn the top layer back on, then drag the mask up. Just get the vertical blue bar on that. And there you go. Now the, the, you can see the buildings through that there. And then you can also, if you want to, go to the background layer and put, say, a curves on that and you could use them in version first of the mask as well if you wanted to and so on too because this is going to affect the whole thing and you can go back and if necessary go to that top layer again and change this to say to overlay and you can get all kinds of nice effects okay just do one more thing which is just to show you what we can do with other sorts of things with it with these kind of 
thing. So let's go to the gradient tool. And I'm going to put in a pixel layer. And draw just down the middle here. And make that 25% grade transparent. So that's not much of a change. But already, gosh, this is looking like now you've immediately got, look, this is like a pollution effect now. But I can also look at the other things. So if I go to overlay, see, that's even kind of brightening up those things. Well, soft light, not quite so much. Hard light gives you, a, like, it's this fog. And you can play around with this and so on. So there are other things that you can do with that gradient layer um, with the neutral density filters. And there's a whole bunch of these for you to play with. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.